はい。My parents brought some hoes over from the Netherlands.、Um, we still have to.、Uh, the garden tool kind. Yeah, the garden tool, cool, tool kind. We're in the garden, by the way, so con context.、Um, yeah, I'm a child.、Uh, <laughs> We're twelve. <laughs>、yeah. Sorry. <laughs>、um, so I think we'll just screw them in and see if that will hold, and otherwise we can put some nails in or whatever.、Uh, drill a hole. Everything's possible. Okay, main goal today, as you can see, we've had frost. All the summer things are dead, so we're gonna take out all the tomatoes, all the steaks, all the peppers and aubergines, and、um, see how much time we have left then. Tomaten wat ik komend jaar ga weer op gaat komen is、uh, buiten gewoon goed te organiseren. <laughs> ja. Als je nou niet in de deur gaat staan.
this now. Dit zijn de zeker weten azijnflessen. Kijk, deze is heel makkelijk af te sluiten. Dan een kwestie van dop eraf en die erop. Looks dusty. It is dusty. Oké. Okay. <laughs> This is the video she doesn't want to make. Martin is very excited. Yes. Um, I am um, anxious. Anxious. So we made we <laughs> we tried to make wine, as you saw uh, a couple months ago, but it was a little bit too much to handle uh, in combination with the bees, the garden, the baby, general life. Um, I realized it was too much, so I didn't have time to prepare for really like really researching how to do wine properly uh, how can we do that what do we need so it's all very last minute which is not great and then i think the f my guess is that the first fermentation took too long but are we gonna taste it now we haven't tasted these so we're gonna see how th they taste uh, and I thought we would take you along. We have tasted the red wine, but I want to try again. Okay. <laughs> and then maybe we can say something about it. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do too much. It's just a tasting. A I'm, lot. I'm pouring a normal glass. That's too much. <laughs> well, the thing is that we are tasting again from the bottom. Oh yeah. Um, so as you can tell with all the other ones, it has a lot of like sediment under under in there. Yeah. Which I assume is normal. Um, but it might make the taste worse. But it's not bad. I mean, it's not great. It's not great, but I I, I drink it. <laughs> I, I would definitely drink this. Uh, <laughs> you would. <laughs> of course, I would. <laughs> but uh, as you can tell already uh, in this bit, is that this is super dark wine, and I don't know if that's all the way through or just what we take out of the bottom. So yeah. I would suggest that we try to take some from the top with okay. like a little... Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to use these bottles because I, I think these bottles, if it's still rolling, I, I, I assume yeah. it is. Um, but this has been open. And that was because of all the preparation that we have. We didn't know that we needed like more than, uh, like two of these instead of just the one. So we had some trouble at the end. Which is fine, first time doing this. So uh, this is definitely vinegar because this has, uh, so we're not gonna even try it. I think no. it's a waste of time. Yeah. Um, so let's continue with this one or this one. Do you, have a uh, do you wanna taste the red from the top? Not right now, I wanna okay. leave that till the end. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, I do see. Oh, maybe it's light, it's on the light. Okay, that came off fairly easy. Yeah, Cheers. Cheers. Don't die. <laughs> It's not very alcoholic. No. But also not super acidic. Mm -mm. 
a, a slight hint of champagne. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> sure. Let's yeah. let's go with that. Yeah. <laughs> blast you get. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's it's white wine. It's not not very special. I don't think. Also it could be better. It could be better, but it's also not the worst white wine I've ever had. That's that's definitely true. Yeah. Again, I could drink this. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we have your December all figured out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, can we put a, we uh, something more like usable on there? Yeah. For now, it's fine, but okay. maybe we can make one of those stoppers uh, fit. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's easier to use because if I want to drink this, I <laughs> you need easy access. You want to uh, taste this one as well as, as a separate one? I Would don't know. Would it be different? I, it will be harder to open. I can yeah. tell you that because yeah. this is not going to be like the other one. Right. I like these gulp things. All right. Different color. Interesting. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. That's better. I have it not in here. The top is now gone. I must say, this is more the orange color that I expected. Yeah. This one is, is definitely a bit watery yellow. compared to this one or yellower. I feel like that's more like kombucha. Yeah, there is some sizzling in there. Mm -hmm. But again, not vinegar. Not vinegar. So we did better on the white than on the red. Yeah, which is good since we have more of that. Um, but also, but it's I a like red. Yeah. <laughs> um, we could even try to mix something up between those two at some point. Not now, but at some point. Okay. You uh, you want to give this one a go? Since nee, we're here, ik weet niet hoe we dat eruit gaan krijgen. Uh, you know how a cup works, right? You just <laughs> put it in <laughs> okay. and you take it out. Scoop it out. Yeah. All right. This one is nice and full. <laughs> Definitely similar color to the second mm -hmm. one. It's very uh, light wine. More like fruit beer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's not necessarily negative. Because uh, <laughs> I like beer. I love beer. Next step is on beer making. Yeah, yeah, just <laughs> one thing at a time, babe. Watch <laughs> us fail again. Yes. But. I think this is not necessarily a failure. Um, what went well and what didn't go well? I, like I said, I didn't prepare at all uh, because we bought the vineyard last year, mostly for the bees, and then the wine would be a nice added bonus, but then life. And so I didn't really have time to research it, to look into what we needed get that all together in time etc yeah and, so. and it was not even the plan from the get-go to make wine right away the first year we we asked uh, maybe to do it with someone in order to learn the process uh, but due to COVID it, it, it's a bit harder to to do that uh, with someone else over a longer period of time with all the changing uh, uh, rules and uh, yeah situation yeah. in general and um, so 
we took this year as as a learning year to get the gear together uh to know what to do when um and yeah. to see how the process works uh, from the start to the end um it would it ha would it have been nice if we would have great wine by the end of the 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 whole uh year season yes of course yeah. but <laughs> I'll drink this stuff. <laughs> I, I'm pretty, yeah. I, I'm, I'm um, pleasantly surprised uh, by the white, by the white wine. Yeah. And uh, the red is. Uh, it was already like a bummer that it was uh, so much more white than red. Um, I don't think it's 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 completely spoiled. It's not. Uh, but it has a definite Quinta wine uh, uh, yes. uh, vibe, which is fine. And yeah. I think that a part of for me for doing this channel is also to kind of show all the things and that you also shouldn't be afraid to try new things and I, I want to show that you can just try them and sometimes you fail actually a lot of times you fail if you do it for the first time and then you just try again next year in this instance and then you'll probably do better and that sometimes makes me nervous <laughs> because i'm very used to it as is martin at being very good at things and like learning very quickly so to then fail at something is not always nice it's not nice for anyone but uh yeah yeah some uh yeah we don't just don't have to experience a lot with it uh, <laughs> uh, everything goes fairly easy but uh, that's also because we don't do a lot of things that we or we used to not at least i just didn't do things that i wasn't good at so um that's what yeah. happens if you're um, one of those too uh, smart. one of those <laughs> things is parenting i hear our <laughs> baby so i'm gonna go get him um yeah so do yes, a do a conclusion uh. it's not all bad uh, but it's definitely also not all good like with everything in life come on see <laughs> Just a teeny tiny update. Um, <laughs> after we uh, shut down the camera, we got some red wine from the top of the, the bottle or the, the flask there. Um, much better. Yeah. Yeah. It's a dry red wine, which is great. <laughs> oh, I would definitely drink that. <laughs> So that looks much better, I think. Um, we'll have to clean this up a little bit. But for now, I'm happy. I think we'll have a lot of volunteer tomatoes here next year, um, but that's okay. These beds are looking good. Martin used the hoe on that one there, which looks much tidier. Oh, and let me sh give you a few quick updates. Um, this is the bed where we sewed the beads, but as you can see, only these are coming up. Um, it's kind of a very poor germination rate, which is weird. Um, I think maybe they needed some more water as well, but not, not great. These though were the transplants and as you can see they're growing just fine um, but in general this fall has been very dry so I think all the veg could use more water. It might rain this night tonight so I'm not gonna water it now. Um, these Christmas cabbages are looking nice they're coming along these are the leeks the only summer stuff that i still need to get out is the sorghum uh, but i'll leave that for another day 
Um, and then I can use all this just as mulch. Let me give you, lastly, let me give you an update on the potatoes. So, um, it was too cold. <laughs> so, this is, uh, it did start growing. And this one, this was a pretty sizable plant. Starting to produce tiny potatoes. But, well, maybe you can already see it. It's already four, only four, not even. And it's already, the sun is out of the garden. And this, these corners are the first uh, to be um, out of the sun. So that's not a great growing environment. Um, the clover is coming up okay though, as you can see. Um, but yeah, for now, we're just gonna leave it like this actually. Let the potatoes just be. And then um, maybe they'll come up in the spring. We'll see. That will be fun. But as with the wine, this was just kind of an experiment. I wanted to see if it would work. Um, in this part of the garden, it doesn't work. Um, maybe next winter for winter uh, potatoes, um, we'll do them somewhere higher up where it's not so cold because this is also the lowest part of the land i.e the coldest yeah or we'll do them in a more sunny spot of the garden but um yeah for growing in the winter i'm still learning it's it's a different game and um yeah for potatoes especially maybe we need to do well we definitely need to do some things differently mm -hmm.